डॉक्टर गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माई सब डॉक्टर पिंकी पटेल आई एम प्रजेंटिंग ए केस रिपोर्ट ऑफ ट्यूबरकुलर यूआईटिस प्रजेंटिंग कंप्लेन ए फोर्टी एट ईयर मेल फ्रॉम इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई प्रजेंटेड एट आई ओ पी डी विद कंप्लेन ऑफ डिमिनिशन ऑफ विजन इन बोथ हाई सिंस टू मंथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ लोटर सिंस वन वीक बोथ हाई पेशेंट वॉज एपरेंटली ए सिम्टोमेटिक टू मंथ बैक आफ्टर विच ही डेवलप बायोलेट्रल डिमिनेशन ऑफ विजन इन बोथ हाई विच वॉज पेनलेस इन सीडियस इन ऑनसेट ग्रेजुअली प्रोग्रेसिव इन नेचर एसोसिएटेड विद फ्लोटर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द आई पास्ट मेडिकल हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री ऑफ टाइप टू डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस सिंस टू ईयर इज ऑन रेगुलर ट्रीटमेंट ही ऑल्सो गिव हिस्ट्री ऑफ फीवर विच इज इंटरमीडियंट इन नेचर एसोसिएटेड विद कफ वेट लॉस मैलेज नाइट स्वेट He had consulted to local physician and was diagnosed miliary tuberculosis. He had not taken full course of ATD. Family history: no similar complaint in any other family member. Drug history: patient gave history of ATD. General examination: patient was conscious, alert, well oriented to time, place, person. Vital: BP 124, uh, 80 mmHg, pulse 84 per minute, temperature a febrile, rest uh, normal. On ocular examination, right eye visual acuity 636, left eye uh, 612, uh, right eye IOP 18 mmHg, left eye 22 mmHg, lid and conjunctiva within normal limit, cornea mild hazy, uh, left eye KP in the cornea, anterior chamber uh, cell 3 plus, layer 3 plus, left eye cell 2 plus, pupil irregular in shape, copper nodule present, uh, left eye irregular shape pupil, iris. Uh, right eye nodule present cell in anterior chamber on fundus examination right eye media clear optic disc uh, swelling and hyperemi both eye blood vessels uh, attenuated macula uh, fr macula foveal reflex dull in left eye case summary a 48 year male presented with complaint of diminution of vision in both eye and history of floater since one week On ocular examination, right eye there was mild hazy cornea, AC 3 plus, and flare 3 plus. Uh, pupil irregular, posterior synechia, copper nodule was present. In left eye, fine keratic precipitate was present. Uh, in anterior chamber cell 2 plus irregular pupil. Differential diagnosis: tubercular uveitis, sarcoidosis, conjunctivitis, viral keratitis, toxoplasma. Provisional diagnosis: uh, tubercular uveitis. Investigation. Random blood sugar 93 mg per dl, uh, CBC within normal limit, ESR 36 mm per hour, RF factor negative, HLA V27 negative, chest X-ray, PA view, prominent hyaluronic lymph node, purified protein derivative, skin test uh, in duration size 12 mm Hg, HCB, HIV, HBS antigen non-reactive. Treatment on topical, the patient was treated with eye drop prednisol on 1%. Started with one drop hourly for three days then. Gradually taper over a month. Eye drop at drop in one percent, one drop twice daily for one week. The patient was also treated with subconjunctival injection, medrecan. Systemic ATT started simultaneously also. Follow up after 15 days of treatment, there was clinical improvement is noted. Discussion: Tuberculosis is the leading cause of posterior uveitis caused by aerobic acid fast bacillus mycobacterium tuberculosis. ocular tuberculosis occurs secondary infection from hematogenous spread of tuberculous bacillus from a distant primary focus or from a hypersensitivity reaction to on extraocular infection tubercular uh, tuberculous uveitis manifests as anterior intravitreous posterior or pan uveitis anterior segment inflammation may show presence of granulomatous or matten fat kpj iris granuloma which was the result development of posterior synechia and complicated attack The most common presentation in posterior uveitis is a bilateral multifocal choroiditis with pigmented scar and with or without retinal scar. These are my references. Thank you. Dr. Pinky, I think that your patient was a drug defaulter of ATT and again you have done that Mantu test which came to be 12. So what was the initial reading when the patient was treated for TB? Your patient was a drug defaulter, huh? yes, and you know that the patient is having TB, and he was a drug defaulter, and you again did a Mantu, which came 12. So, is this Mantu reading was a little bit lesser from the previous reading because this this is having a very important implication. 
And the other thing that your patient was not having any vitritis, but the patient was having disc edema. Both eyes, disc edema was there. So have you done any MRI contrast to rule out any raised intracranial pressure because of any tuberculoma or tuberculous meningitis? Because I am not seeing any inflammation in the vitreous as you have said. And even in this patient, you are treating again your patient with ATT with the topical steroids when such uh, massive disc edema is there that is not going to be dealt only by the means of ATT. I think you should add on oral steroids in this. And one thing that majority of the cases we are discussing today is because of uh, that tuberculosis in origin. So whenever you people uh, ask your physician to start ATT, please do a baseline color vision and contrast sensitivity because ethambutol is very, very notorious to cause um, retrobulbar neuritis. So if you have a baseline color vision and contrast sensitivity, and on every follow-up, you will have to check that. If you are getting that it is reduced color vision or contrast sensitivity, ask your physician friend to uh, remove ethambutol and again, Removing ethambutol is not only sufficient. Again, on next visit, again, you will have to compare color vision and contrast sensitivity. If again it is decreasing, then you will have to ask your friend to remove isoniazide. So it's a humble request that if your patient is on ATT, being an ophthalmologist, we should ask our physician friend to send them to us so that we can take care of ethambutol induced profusity. And if your patient is on ethambutol, add on zinc. There is a very good study by Rohit Saxena et al. from RP Center Ames, where in the patient of ethambutol toxicity, they have given zinc supplementation along with vitamin two, B12 for around two years with wonderful results. Believe me, I have also tried that regime of uh, Dr. Rohit Saxena, and I have few of my patients who have gained almost, almost near normal vision. Thank you.